Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the hashtag in conjunction with the new dynamic array functions that are available in Office 365. So let's see how to do that in Excel. So here is a list of the six dynamic array functions that became available with Office 365 plus two other new functions that kind of take advantage of these dynamic array functions. Now we're not going to go through these in detail. I've done tutorials on some of them and we'll do more on the rest. But more importantly, I want to show you how the hashtag option is used in conjunction with these dynamic array functions in Excel. So first, I'm going to use the filter function to create a filtered list of items from my inventory table here. So I'm going to type equals filter tab. My array is inventory. That's the name of my table, comma. And I'm going to include inventory and description equals stock molding and what I get is a filtered list using the dynamic array filter function and it filtered out and provided me all the data where the description equals stock molding. Now if I went over to cell M2 and I typed equals and selected G2 and hit enter it would just give me the value that's in cell G2. But if instead I typed equals G2 and the hashtag and hit enter, notice it duplicated the entire filtered range or the result of that filtered formula from cell G2. Now again, I'm going to do that again. If I type equals G2, notice Excel just highlights that one cell. But as soon as I add the hashtag, notice it highlighted the entire range. And now when I hit enter, it pulled that full range in. Let me show you another example that's using another of the dynamic array functions. I just want a unique list of the items in the description column. So I'm going to type equals unique. And then my array, again, is going to be the inventory table and the description column. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And Excel provided me a unique list of the items that are in that column. So now if I wanted to create a data validation list based on this unique list of descriptions, I would select that cell, go to data validation, select list, and I could type equals I11. Now by just choosing that or typing that, I'll say OK, and my list just has the one item that's in I11, which is stock molding. However, if instead I had equals I11 and added the hash symbol and said OK, Excel would now pull in that entire list that was generated by a dynamic array function, which was the unique function. And if I pick stock molding here or pick any of the other items, I now have that dynamic list. I can now go up to my filter function and instead of typing in stock molding as my choice, I can just reference this data validation item and now it will provide a filtered list based on the selection. So now if I change this to two-piece hub, that changes along with what I typed in cell M2, which is equals G2 hashtag. And that will work for all the options that I choose here with my data validation list. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.